So you may ask the question, Travis, why are you so passionate about God? share with you a quick testimony. 22 years ago, I was four years old. We were in Germany and I fell four stories out of a building. Well, the doctors got to my body before my parents did because there was a hospital across the street. The doctors came past me and they pronounced me dead on the spot. Need you to hear this. They covered me with a white sheet and they said it was over. He's dead. But how many people in the room know that it ain't over until God says it's over? Oh, y'all being sanctified and cute up in here. And so my mom, she's just crazy enough to believe that God is able to do anything. And so mom gets to my body and I'm lifeless. She picks me up and she refused to accept death. I don't know what mother I'm talking to in the room. But you may be facing some dead situations. Your son might be in jail. Your daughter may be pregnant. You may be in the midst of some dead situations. I dare you to grab a hold of some faith from somewhere. And just believe that God is able. So mom picked me up. And she called on the name of Jesus twice. But nothing happened. There's a songwriter that says that there's wonder working power in the blood so the third time she screamed the blood of Jesus I tell somebody to just scream the blood of Jesus you may not know what else to pray but pray the blood of Jesus I'm feeling my help I'm sorry I'm trying to be dignified and so I came back to life well that's not where the shout comes in at then a few days later, we're leaving the hospital. And I said, yo, mom, you got to hear what happened. She said, no, we can't talk about it. Because the doctor said, if you have a flashback, you may go into shock. And this time, you won't come out. She said, no, mom, you got to hear what happened. And she says, all right, Travis, tell me what happened. I said, well, mom, listen, I'm four years old. I said, mom, I started falling out of the window. But I never actually hit the ground. I'm trying to explain to y'all why I'm passionate and why I, why I don't come to church to be cute. Why I just can't sit back with my legs crossed and act dignified with my cute Ross outfit on like I got it all together. I got to praise God. I just want to tell you why. And I said, Mom, I never actually hit the ground. I said, but right before I hit the ground, a man with a big hand caught me. And I said, Mom, I couldn't see his face because it was so bright. All I saw was clouds and bright light. But I remember hearing a voice, Mom. And he said, do you want to go home with your mom or come with me? I said, well, you know, I'm four. I want my mom. He said, okay. This time I'm going to let you go home with your mom, but next time I'm going to take you with me. And I looked up, I said, wait, excuse me, sir. My mom always taught me to ask someone name, not to talk to strangers. So I had to let her know who I was talking to. So I said, excuse me, sir, what is your name? Does anybody got Oprah's cell phone number? Because I need to let her know. He didn't say my name was Buddha. He didn't say my name was Muhammad. But my Bible says there's only one name. He says, son, my name is Jesus. The son of the living God, Jesus. The great I am, Jesus. The bright and morning star, Jesus. Slap three people and tell them you're serving the right one. You're serving the right one. I don't know what they told you, but you're serving the right one today. I came all the way to Georgia just to encourage about 2,000 people and let you know you may have some dead situations. But I tell you to get like Ezekiel and say that these dry bones right here, this dry job, this dry marriage, these dry kids, this dry money, this will live and not die. I tell you to 
to lift your hands and begin praising God like it's already done. I said praise Him like it's already done. Don't wait till the resurrection. Don't wait till the battle's over. Press 